Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So just bear with me. I am super shadowing against this new backdrop. I need to get to either soft boxes or something, but right now it's just not happening. So just ignore the shadow and this really beautiful crease in that backdrop. Okay, thanks. But today I'm going to be doing my version of a haul. I did some online shopping. Actually, I think it's all online shopping. Except a very, like two things maybe. I did White Fox Boutique, Lola Shootique. A lot of these are shoes, a couple pieces of clothing, and uh, some jewelry as well. I'm gonna start with White Fox Boutique. If you haven't heard of White Fox Boutique, I believe it's based in Australia. The prices I'm gonna tell you are in Australian dollars, so for Canadians they're a little bit, a little bit better, just a few dollars. I tried to make myself feel better by saying, well, our dollar was less than that to one of the girls I work with and she just nailed my ass to the wall basically and said like buy two dollars or something <laughs> but anyways this is the soft white knit and the soft dusty pink knit they look huge like look how big this looks um it's meant to be super baggy the back is a little bit longer it's so hard to show you on here i am not super super tiny and they're pretty like they're a good size for me, but they're definitely oversized sweater, sweatshirts or sweaters, whatever you want to call them. So if you're super, super tiny, this might not work for you because the sizes are small, medium, and I guess large, extra large, I think is how it works. Um, so yeah, this is the white one. And then the one I'm wearing right now, it's soft, dusty pink. Um, I really, really like it because it's kind of like just a mauve, mauve, whatever you want to call it. Dusty pink, dusty rose, whatever you want to call it. Okay, yeah, so that was the first item. I got two of those in each color. Um, I believe it comes in black and gray as well. So got so this top is kind of a letdown for me because I am a little bit chestier even though my um, rib width, I guess you could say, is a little bit smaller. Like definitely not small, but like smaller than the rest of the situation going on. So anyways, I'm getting real off topic. Um, so I got this wrap top. I'm, straps are like this, but then it has like this off the shoulder like wide bell shaped sleeve and then it kind of it does the whole wrap thing so it's not this part this part is nice and long so that's not the problem but it doesn't cover high enough here like it is tight which I kind of wanted it to be a little bit baggier I think that's how the model had it on and it's low like like not cute low like go back home and put some clothes on low and maybe going to Plato's closet my next purchase this is actually my favorite thing I bought out of everything if you're a makeup artist you will definitely like this it's just a plain white tee and it says when in doubt wing it out I actually have shoes I bought to go with this that I think is super cute for like casual running around I don't think it's in stock right now they do have another one that's alike to this I don't remember what it says on it but I will include it in the description below when I include all the links to all the items but yeah that is definitely my favorite piece maybe mistaken this one I like as well a lot this is the you say I think it's called the Esme top in creamy white so probably seen this shirt I feel like it's all over like the Instagram the Instagram shops like the little ads that come up or on Twitter and girls wear this with they usually wear like a crop top like a white crop top with white um, like flowy shorts or something but I want to wear this with light jeans and a white tank top tucked in like nude or like beige boot heels for the spring I think it's so cute I think like all this detail is so beautiful let's just flip this right back there uh, it's so so cute really happy with the quality the embroidery on it is really beautiful I was scared it was gonna be kind of cheapy looking but really really nice it's a bodysuit and it's gonna be also hard to show you but I will once again include um, a photo of the model because it looks real good on the model it's like this I really it looks huge it's long <laughs> um, so it's got like these really cute little sleeves that kind of puff up like that I will wear a nude tank top under this I'm not seeing me wearing a bralette under this thing so I will wear a nude tank top and it's got all this detail in it it's so beautiful so that's why I want to wear nude and not white because I want this to be able to show Cut this around the waist so it kind of cinches it in a little bit so this is the hypnotic bodysuit the only thing I really wasn't happy about all my orders in this this haul was that black wrap top basically. So good first experience with White Fox. Okay, so I also did some jewelry shopping as well as sunglass shopping from White Fox. But this one, I don't even know how to show you. I'm going to include another photo of the model. So this is what this <laughs> looks like. This is actually a body harness. These are super in right now. I was worried about buying this because, like I said before, being a little chesty, I didn't want it to like either snap like awkwardly, that's just weird and 
awkward I don't know because I want to wear not a low V or anything like that just like a scoop neck um, and have that little detail on top so you can play up like a casual black tee or something like that I think it'll be really cool um, really dainty but there is a piece on it you'll see in the picture it almost wraps like a choker and then wraps down the middle like this I'm cutting that off I this choker actually is okay because my chest is like open like this so it elongates my neck a little bit and I don't mind it but usually chokers bother me like I have a thick wide neck and like a huge noggin it's from my dad I don't know clasp at the back and around the halter type part is that all bunch of links so you can change the size it actually is like very it goes pretty pretty wide around um, so it should be suitable for you I think they tried to make it suitable for most um, shapes and sizes because obviously it's not a it's not really a one size class, it has to have a bunch. So this is the Bell Body Harness. Haven't worn it yet, but I love it. This little choker is also from White Fox. I really, really like this one actually. It's very like goddessy. And I like goddessy. This is called the City Lights Choker. I think I might have lost some stuff. Oh no. It's okay, I got it. I also picked up some earrings because I always wear studs like this because um, I have a ton of earrings, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So these are the earrings I got. These are called the double circle earrings. These are from White Fox as well. I think they're so cool. Like they're a little bit much, but whatever. I really like them. I think they're so J-Lo. I think it'll be really nice with like a nice white top. Perhaps one of those things I already showed. I have two more items from White Fox. They're sunglasses. They are Key Australia sunglasses. Um, I chose to um, purchase two pairs that are collaborations with beauty bloggers. I think it's so cool that makeup artists and beauty bloggers get to do different things like this because they are so involved in like the fashion world um, and they are super influential. Like I saw Desi Perkins make these, I bought them. Like that, right? So these ones are the Desi Perkins. These are the high key glasses in gold. I'm just gonna put them on and like turn this way. Maybe so you can see my hair. <laughs> these are oversized aviators. They're super, super cute. I love them. I have a big head, so oversized aviators don't look ridiculous on me. They have a super cute detail on the bottom here, this little triangle piece. They also came with this case. I also got, look how cool this is. These are another pair of Key Australia sunglasses collabed with a beauty blogger um, slash makeup artist. This is the Crispy collab. These are the Gemini sunglasses. I thought they were so cool. They're like rose goldy. It's hard to see on camera right now. Um, I think these ones are super cool as well. Then I also did stuff from Lola Shutik. This is a top. So I originally wasn't going to buy their clothes. I just went on to buy their shoes because lots of people post about them and they're good prices. Even though they are American, they're still pretty good prices when you compare to like Aldo and stuff. Okay, so this is a mauve type shirt. It kind of looks more peachy on camera, but it's not as peachy. Um, and it's got that distressed look where someone literally looks like they burnt cigarette holes in your shirt. Uh, but this is a super huge trend right now with all these little bits. But I want to actually, when I was talking about the scoop neck I want to wear the body harness with, this was the one I was talking about. So. And this is like a plain tee, super distressed, super casual, but gonna play it up and add a little something like that to it. it would be really, really cute. This is called the Spill the Tea. Tea. This is the Spill the Tea t-shirt from Lola Shutique. The other clothing item I haven't even tried on yet, but this feels like really good ribbed material. Sometimes if you buy something that's ribbed, it's uh, it's really stretchy too. It's like, it's not flattering on girls who got love handles and all that fun stuff. Ribbed material doesn't look good on that in my opinion. I'm not comfortable in it. I hate it, it's super thin. It doesn't do anything, like, it doesn't suck anything in. But this is like, this is like thick. I know it's hard to see because it's black, but it has like this neck piece. It's like that trend where, and then it's got the V part. It is a full bum back, it looks like, or it's just like cheeky, which I don't really mind. And it's got the, the snaps down here so it's easy to go to the bathroom you don't have to get fully naked. I'm going to do shoes from Lola Chutique. So I just got these ones in. These are my favorite purchase of all the shoes. <laughs> they're so cute. They're so like funny but um, they're super cute. I really want to wear these with that uh, wing it out plain or plain white tee, whatever. These are called Low Down. This is in gray, obviously. Just so funny. They have a bunch of different colors and I kind of actually wish I got more colors. They have like a nice baby pink, baby blue, black. I don't think they have white, but then this gray. And they're true to size. I am an eight and a half, and I am an eight and a half in all pairs of Lola Shutique shoes. Yes, so freaking cute. I'm so excited to wear those. I also grabbed these. These are a new shoe, as well as those little pom-pom ones are. Um, these are a new arrival. These are called, I think it's Catching Feelings. I wrote down Catching Feeling, but 
I'm guessing it's catching feelings. Gonna get like the deeper green color, but I decided to go with this one because I think it's so cute for spring when you wear just like light jeans and like a white, I'm all about light jeans and like a white shirt, but I think it's super cute with this. This is a lot warmer than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be a good, I think it's Cognac, Cognac, whatever you call that color, but this is pretty orangey, but I still really like them. They're super high, like, damn. I went in on high heels this time. So I also got these strappy shoes, they have a pointed toe, I think they're super cute and professional with adding like this edginess, like this is so cool. And when it has, you have to tie these up every single time, the first time you get them you are going to go crazy with these ties. It takes forever to untie everything and fit your foot in, once you fit your foot in you can just use the zipper so it's nice and easy. These heels are called Lust Shrut Strut. My next pair of shoes are these blush color shoes. These are called uh, Sultry Edge. These are also true to size. They have the double strap and then they've got like this detail on this part. I think these shoes are super simplistic but add a flair to an outfit. Um, you can throw it on with really anything. You can go super fancy, dress, pencil skirt. You can throw on jeans, casual tee, that white, soft white knit, easy peasy, awesome shoe. Love this. This is not a brand new arrival. I would say probably a month ago new arrival. I have one more pair of shoes to show. They look super plain, but then they're like a, like an icy gray color. Um, and they're almost like that fake suede. They've got the zipper on the side and then they've got these super cool like edgy roses on the back. So I can't wait to wear this. I don't know what I would wear with this yet. Probably black ripped jeans. I'm gonna totally wear like a true red lip with these babies. Oh, it's ripped. Oh no it's not, no it's not, false alarm. Love the quality of them, I put their, them on. I have boots that were way more expensive than these ones from Le Chateau. They fit very similar and very, like they're pretty comfortable and they've got like the good bottoms. These are called the Rose Up Shoes in gray. I freaking love these boots. So now I'm gonna do some accessories that I just randomly picked up because I bought all these damn clothes and then I was like I need to keep things going and put the whole look together. So I actually got these giant hoops. I don't know when I'm going to get the courage to wear them, but they're huge. <laughs> these are from Forever 21. They were $6.90. Yeah, I think these will be really cute with like that knit or something. I don't know what I'm going to wear these with. I love them though. I also got this pack of, so it looks like someone stole all these, but I'm actually wearing um, quite a few of them right now. I just have like this flat uh, gold stud, a small little diamond stud and then this little triangle thing. So then it also comes with like all these different little guys. I love earrings like this. I think it's easy to throw on, add to an outfit, mix and match them. These are the only items I bought from Forever 21. Yeah. I mentioned, oh, oh no. Oh no. No. Now that they're separated, um, I also work at a beauty boutique I mentioned in my last video here in Bradford, Ontario. It's called Victoria Bork Beauty Boutique. And I purchased two accessories. They were $25 each. And originally, actually, let me show you. I got it in silver and gold, it's the same necklace. Also had this like black piece as like a choker part, so I just cut this right off. Really like this to go over just a casual white top just to add something to it. And this little triangle thing at the top is it's like it has little diamondy things and it's got this tassel. So now I'm gonna learn not to put them together and store them some other way. This one's still a little messed up, but I also got it in gold. This is my favorite color. I just got it in both because I figured it'd be super easy. So that concludes my fashion haul. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'm going to share my fashion send. You only ever see me from like the shoulders up. Yeah, I love shopping. I love um, expressing myself. It's part of makeup. That's like the main thing that people love about makeup. It washes off at the end of the day and you can change your clothes. So it's fun to try different things, doing whatever you want. Who cares what people think? If you want to get boots with freaking red roses on the back of them, who cares? So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. So leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.